Hello YouTube and fellow Terminator fans. Over the next two years, we're going to be building a half life size Terminator. Oh, now I can't get that voice up for two years. Um, going to be showing you how to do some modifications on this uh, because the, the kit that they sent us, someone sanctioned it and they sold it to us and we're buying it is awful. The, the head sculpt on this thing is just not great at all. Um, this, that's, this is the original sculpt here. It's it's just terrible. It definitely needs some modification. So uh, what we're doing is we're going to be enlarging the eyes, moving the teeth forward and cutting out all of the faceplate to make it look more realistic. I would like a really, really realistic looking T800. Going to be using as many of the original parts that come with this kit as I possibly can. Um, it's obviously still needs to be still needs to be painted. I'll do another tutorial on the painting of the teeth and, and the eyes and stuff. And I'm hoping they give us extra bits around the eyes. If they don't, I will be doing a custom for that too. But it's just it's mainly the head and the uh, and the neck that, that need modifications on this. The rest of these parts, they appear to be pretty damn good. They're um they're, they're quite maybe accurate and they're made of metal. The whole arm appears to be made of metal because people are on the part four at the moment it's a little worrying that they've given us a little plastic little plastic shoulder for the whole of the metal arm we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it i'm not going to be doing the actual build i'm just doing the customizations on these i'm just doing the modifications and i'm showing you how to do the modifications um because i'm going to have all of my all of my metal parts i'm going to have electroplated chrome because i want a, a chrome terminator i want it to look more more like it does on the front cover I have three of these to build, as you can see. There's another two over there. Uh, one of these is um, just my practice one, which I, I learned an awful lot from, and that's going to be going on on the base, which we're also going to need to customize because the base looks awful. Um, this will be a smash terminator on the base. Obviously, there's my one, which will be going on the on the skull of my terminator, and this one here, I'm going to build and and give away to a subscriber for getting enough subscribers. I'll, I'll pick one random and give it to them. But it's a subscriber that expresses a preference that they would like it. I don't just want to give it to somebody who doesn't want it, won't use it. So if you do want one of these, um, feel free to subscribe and express a preference that you want it. I'm also going to be giving away a couple of the um, the bits that come free with the subscription. So if you're not a subscriber and you want a couple of bits like the toolkit and and the keyring, I, do, I don't want I don't require those. So I'll give them away to, to anybody who expresses a preference to have them. If you want them, feel free to subscribe and, and let me know in a, in a preference that you wish to have them. Okay, okay, let's carry on with the build. Okay, boys and girls, build the Terminator parts one and two. We're gonna try and make this as movie accurate as we possibly can. Start with the faceplate, which is a terrible sculpt. Whoever sculpted this ought to be ashamed of themselves. Um, what we're going to start by doing is drilling out all of the holes, the nose, the two nose parts underneath, again the holes on the side and the two little holes there. For these you're going to need a 2mm uh, part for this and a 4mm part for the side ones. I think it's a 1.5mm for these two here. Okay, with that drilled and filed, that's what your nose looks like. You get your nose all drilled out, you get little holes at the front, holes at the sides all drilled out. Side there. Looks a hell of a lot better. Yay! You might want to get yourself a set of files. So diamond warding files. Nice. They're really good. They cut through this very, very quickly. Probably quicker than the drill did. And we're going to be moving on to the faceplate. And the eyes next. This part here. <laughs> these horrible little things. Won't be using those. We're going to change these up for some 10 mil beads. Let's use some 10 mil chromed beads. They're really, really good. Easy to cut. And they just look amazing. And there's a, there's a test one that I did. With these ones, you, we will be using the back part because you're going to use the back part. If you want the eyes to move left and right, you're still going to need this pin. And if you, you're going to make it move, move left to right, you're going to need to drill through this as well. Put little pins in yourself. 
Okay, once you've drilled the 5mm hole in the bead, we need to get the effect around the outside of the eye. For that, I'm using an old, you know, the, the extendable extendable pens. I've got one here somewhere. Yeah, these things, cheapy cheapies. What I've done is I've just cut it down, just using the, the, the main the main barrel part, which is probably six, six and a half mil. So you get the five mil drip bit, you put tape around the edge, so this just fits, slide that in place there. And then you're sliding this over the top. A nice snug fit. And then you can see we'll be cutting the hole around the eye. Hopefully it'll work. Let's see if I take that off and put it on the drill bit first. So another nice gentle drill bit down. Don't go crazy with it. Drill that out, and then you've carved the little hole around the side. Move that, take that drill bit back out. This is kind of the effect you're getting here. So you can see the little line around the outside of the eye. That's what you're going for. So once you slot that in there, and you will need to weather that. Obviously, it's going to need some black paint in it. If you line the eye up so it's just slightly sticking out like that. That's the, that's the effect of the eyeball you're going to get, which is much better once you fill it. Okay, getting the black line around the bead, around the outside of the eye. It wasn't easy. I tried many, many different things. Many beads died to bring us this information. What you do is you drill a 5 mil hole right the way through the bead. There are two ways of doing it. Not drilling the holes, obviously. I'd start small, 2 mil, 2.5, work your way up in five mil increments to get to the, uh, the five mil that you need there or point mils sorry the other eye here is one that's actually been drilled out around the outside that is incredibly hard to do it's a nice effect but incredibly hard to do so we're using that once you've drilled the five mil hole you're using the uh, the five mil drill bit you pop it into the hole obviously you've taped around there and you've got the piece of the um, the piece of the extendable that we've cut off. You pop that in the five mil hole, boom, and you can either drill that if it's if it's held in to get the first effect here. The second effect is a lot easier. You just use a, a thin permanent marker, and you get it's it's a nice effect. It's not too bad. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm not entirely sure if that's visible. There is that visible. It's, it is a nice effect and you can draw the rest of the effect on the eye too so you need to do that twice and then we're going to come to the uh, using the original eye part what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the original eye part here and glue that onto the back of this so you've still got the little peg cutting up the bead get yourself a pair of needle nose pliers Clamp it on there, put it into your little cutting box, and with your hacksaw, yeah, just cutting off this part here. That's all you need. Ta -da! This is if you want it to go left to right, because you're going to need this part here, a little pin, to put into the mechanism. Glue in the piece you've just cut off. Use a nice glue. I like, I like this one, Gorilla Glue. The, the blue one really it's nice and thick easy to use and it lasts a long long time so a little blob of that fix it to the back of this and you've got to line it up with there so you're going to keep it relatively straight. Or else you're going to have boss eyes. And you want boss eyes on that terminator. And after 30 seconds, you've got a nice tight bond. And that's what you're looking at. Yep. And then you plug your light in the back of there. You can get your needle file. File that down a little bit if needs be. Get a little burr in there. 
and then repeat for the other eye. For the next part, we're cutting out the, the eye sockets because we've got a 10 mil bead and a lot smaller hole. <coughs> we're gonna use a cone cutter for this. We're gonna work our way through gently. So there's a lot of stopping and starting. Being careful not to catch too much off of these. You probably will take a bit off. I did with the tester one. That makes it look more battle damaged. So a lot of stop, start, stop, start until you get that to actually fit in there snugly. It, it will fit in snugly. The one I've done earlier, over here. There you go. So you will, you'll have it in there and it, and it will obviously move around. So slowly, slowly drilling in, test fit, drill in, test fit, drill in, test fit. Then when you've got that one in there, repeat it on this side. For the next part, I think we can all agree the eyes are not far enough forward, nowhere near. They sit way too far back. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off these two bits here and that little bit at the front of this. And this little nodule at the top of the, uh, the jawline. That being done, a nice cut off there as well. You're also going to need to drill a couple of holes either side of this so that the uh, eye sockets will slide closer. Right up, resting. So it rests on the two sides there. What you need to do now is file this part down so that the ball can fit in there nice and snug and move around. So movement on the ball then. So when you put it in here, still locks in, but the eye can still move up, down, side to side, etc., etc., and so forth. You gotta do that on both sides. So once you've filed both of these down, I would recommend that we cut it in half. So you're cutting it because you get, you get a larger hole in here now for that to come through. So I'll just push the bar away. So what you need to do is cut these two in half or if you're good, good enough, drill a big hole in the middle. Up to you. Right, I cannot express enough how much I do not know this, this is what this is gonna to do to the rest of the build. So uh, I'm pretty certain that uh, whatever they throw at us, we're clever enough to get around it and figure it out. But I do not know what it's gonna to do to the rest of the skull. We'll figure that out as we go along. If you wanna follow it now or you might wanna wait and see whether I can do it or not, because I have no idea, but I'm giving it a go. Okay, that's done. As you can see, it's locked in on that side. So both of these now look like this, and out of the way. So you've rounded these parts off. Still got the hole for the screw. So you can pop that on there. Like so. You still screw them in as you would have done anyway. Both eyes still move, no problems with those. So both eyes are still moving. Because of the holes, it fits quite nicely into the back here. And you can push it right up to the front. So your eyes come quite far forward on this now. And now we're going to change these little balls around the outside. So we're going to dismantle this and we're going to cut these out. And we're going to put proper little ball bearings in there and glue them in. All right, for this part, we're cutting out all of these. You've got to cut them in like a V. So you're getting to the edge of it. So you're going to go right to the edge there and cut down there and cut down there. But you're cutting in the shape of a V. So each of these little black bits in the middle pops out like that one there has. You pop them all out. Do it nice and slowly, don't rush it. We've got two years to finish this one. With all of those cut out, and do be careful. I've gone too far over on a couple of them, but just be careful when you're drilling those, when you're cutting those out, that you're just losing the beads. I'm gonna be using an engraving tool. I bought a set of engraving tools, They're like two quid on eBay. Um, you're looking for the one with the little ball in it. Little tiny ball on the end there. Put 
putting that in your drill. out a hole just big enough for a ball bearing to fit in so be careful with this one. Just rest it on there so you're popping that in exactly as the ball bearing will be going in do that on all of them we're basically just cut, cutting up the shape of a ball bearing in there and then we'll, once we'll... like so we are using beads from one of these really cheap cheap um, key rings, you know, the ones that, that have an interlock in there. There you go, that's open. So we're using these tiny little beads here. I'll pick them up anywhere. They're really, really cheap. Cut them off individually. Keep your finger on it, and pop you through. And you get your tiny bead. Obviously, you're going to be gluing these in. This is just a show. Pop. And that sits in there. Lovely. Look at that. I like that. I'm good with that. So what you do is you put them all in. Put a little drop of glue in there. And make sure that you don't get the holes from the bead visible. So the, the bead holes sit either side. So you can't see them. Okay, with that all done. I think that looks, that looks pretty spectacular. You can see it there. All shiny, shiny balls. And the eyes do still move left to right if you want them to move left to right. I'm not sure I want mine to move left to right. I might have them static. I do want them lighting up. But I might use the mechanism for the jaw to make the eyes go up and down as well as the side to side mechanism. If I can do that. If not, they're just going to be static. We're moving on to the teeth, which are crazy horrible. I mean, really horrible. Who came up with this? That's just nasty. So what we're going to do... We're going to do the uh, the left side of the teeth first. And what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to cut the teeth down. So just cut them all up. They're not easy to cut up. We've well, got the grooves on the back. Use this handy little tool that came with it. Ta -da! So you're going to separate all the teeth for the left side you're also going to need to cut these down see the way that there is it's way too thick so what i've done on this part already is cut that down there so what you'd have the teeth will be coming out on the top here and then going in underneath there and you're going to add an extra tooth and we're going to use this to to make all this part here to make another tooth one for each side and hopefully you'll get something that looks a little bit like that. But if you look at this one, you can see I've gone too far around there. There's, there's too much tooth showing here. So with the, with the metal bit sliding on there, we'll be grinding against teeth. So that these two teeth needed to have come in a little bit further. But this was just the test model. So once you've cut them all up, you're going to be needing to... Make it's fiddly. And there's a lot of filing. But this is the sort of shape you're looking for more of a human tooth, I don't know if that's visible. And you want it thinner at the top, on the back. So it's, it's a proper human tooth shape, so smaller at the top than the bottom, but thinner on the back. So you've got to thin this tooth out as much as you can. Thinner at the top than the bottom, because once you've cut a groove into here, that's going to be sticking into that groove, a bit like so. But I'm not going to go up quite as high with the with the next one. This was uh, this was a little too high, so it's going to be a small groove in there because I want to keep as much of the front plate as I possibly can. I want to keep as much of this in there as I can. I mean that that part will be going, but I want to keep that that bend because I want to file into the bend and make it look more like a jaw. With the canine tooth, this one, you turn that upside down, so this actual part becomes the bottom part. So when you cut it off individually, like so. You'll be shaping that as a canine tooth. That'll be the top of it, and that'll be the bottom. So you turn that one around. Once you file that down, there, yeah, that's the big one. That's what you end up with. Nice little tiny tooth, which just joins the rest. It goes right to the back of the mouth. Here, yeah, that'll fit right back here. But again, you need to file these down and get this nice and flat for the teeth to sit in. And when you've all the teeth are in there, it'll look a, a bit more like this. I mean, the, the 
they're definitely a lot more like human teeth. For the sixth tooth that goes right at the back, we're cutting off this, cut that into four, and then glue those four together like so. And then you're just going to be filing that down until it's you know roughly the same size as one of the other teeth and that goes right at the back of the mouth it's obviously got to be a lot smaller than this so get filing and enjoy with all the teeth separated and cut into their individual shapes you're then going to be filing grooves into the front of the upper jaw because the teeth will be sitting right on the front not inside on the front four so then you would get one of your front teeth lock it in don't squeeze too tight on these because they do ping and just disappear it takes ages to find them again because they're quite small and it's a pain and you file the front of that flat so you're going down a bit in there because that's what's going to be hanging there so you've got a little groove cut in there and that part there will then glue into that pot so that the tooth hangs further back but still right at the front. Getting the first two teeth in and correct is vital for this. It's a knock on effect. So you've got to get those two in and perfect. So take time with these, get them nice and straight, exactly how you like them, and then the rest of the teeth can follow suit. So we're doing we're doing six teeth at the front, three on each side there, three on each side there, and then we're going behind with the others. Yeah, so the other three are going behind those sat in the back. So remember, get these teeth correct or else the rest of them won't, won't follow suit. With the fourth front teeth in play, then you're going to be offering up the plate. They do look a lot more human. So you're offering this up. I mean, firstly, I'm going to cut away this ridge anyway. That, that bottom ridge there is going to go behind. Like I said, I'm going to try and keep some of this original jaw in there. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to. Or if it'll look ridiculous or not. If it does, we'll just cut it down even further. So you've got that there. With that ridge gone, then you would start marking them up on this side and, and just gently filing in as, as far as you can go with it. With this piece filed down now, all the way around, you're now going to offer it up and, and do your little markings with your marker pen. So you'd offer that up there. It does, it actually goes in quite well. So you offer that up, you can see where the little markings I've already put on there. And then you just file into that. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can with this front plate because I want to keep as much as I can. I went over the top on the first practice one. So I'm just going to gently work this in, make it look more realistic. Okay, we need an amendment to this because I discovered that by just sticking the teeth on here, they were a little too high, a little too loose. So what I've done is, is clearly I've removed them and I've taken one of these parts, the, the tree that the teeth came on, cut it up and made a a little like gum in a gum and that's going to stick inside the jaw there like so and then the teeth can be cut into that so they so they're low enough down because when you are cutting into the jaw when you're cutting into the face plate I don't want to go too high up but this this was as, as far as I'd like to go I mean I'll fire I'll make it a little bit more of a of a pattern on it but um, the teeth are too high up so they've got to come down further all that being done you can see the uh, teeth are much better now they sit and they sit on that rim on the inside there which actually is quite discreet you can't really see it you're not really going to see the inside of the mouth anyway and uh, the teeth obviously need to be painted but you can see where it's it's actually been brought in here so you've still got that original part of the metal plate whereas with the uh, the tester one not so much. I filed that all the way. So I, I, I prefer this one. And I haven't had to take too much away from the faceplate. If you look at the faceplate on there now, it's a nice snug fit. And the teeth look, uh, look kind of cool. There are a lot of scratches and stuff on mine, but I will be having it um, electroplated in chrome. All the metal parts of mine will be electroplated in chrome. It costs a lot cost a bit I'm not entirely sure how much yet but it's going to be worth it at the end of it and I'll have a, a proper chrome terminator 
sticking these two pieces together obviously because there's now a gap we've cut away this part here so you've got those two bits there so what I've done is cut down a couple of pieces of plastic little tiny bits like that and what you do is you glue them on here yeah one there one there line them up with the uh, with a drill bit like so so that you glue on nice and straight do that both sides and then you can screw that on there and a little bit of glue down here will stick that together as well so there we go a lot more realistic looking t800 obviously the teeth need to be painted and and the eyes are so still a bit of painting to do you've got a black out behind the nose i will be painting it and showing you how i'll do another video but i'm so far behind now i'm a month behind i haven't still, still haven't got my subscription yet can you believe that but uh yeah i'll be showing you how to paint it as you can see it's, it's all been moved forward so that you've got the larger eyes now you've got the proper beads um, around the eyes teeth have all been cut and made to look more human and move forward faceplate has been gently cut out um, that's pretty much it really until the painting you know a lot of people have been um, shading these I'm not going to be doing that because all my metal parts will be will be electroplated chrome I want all of it done so I won't actually be doing the build there are a lot of guys out there doing the build some pretty damn good ones some funny ones some straight it's um, I've got a lot of inspiration from no guys so so if you're doing these kind of videos about this this particular build thank you very much for the inspiration appreciate it I'm hoping somebody sees mine and and is inspired to go even further so I can learn from them or is willing to learn well, thank you very much for watching do appreciate it you can like and subscribe up to you if you wish please don't leave negative comments I am so fragile it'll break me it'll destroy me now go ahead leave whatever comments you like um, and I will see you in the next video. Have fun with the build, guys. Bye.